Hi, welcome to Teacher Inspiration Station. It's Saturday afternoon and it's back to the grind tomorrow. So I thought it would be fun just to, you know, add some excitement to my life. Um, I thought it would be fun to turn the camera on and do a plan with me video. Like I said, school is tomorrow and I have some planning to do. So join me as I do a walkthrough or a think through of my day tomorrow. So here are the items that I'm going to use today. I have my laptop because this is what I use to type up my plans. And I have my weekly schedule on hand because I don't have it memorized yet. My long range plans, which is basically our curriculum that I've broken up. I was going to use my happy planner, but I thought, let's make this authentic. Let me just do what I actually do. So I've got everything I need. So Monday, what I've done to sign in here. I have my laptop here. My son broke the, I don't even know what letter this is, D I think. Yeah, he, he broke it off. Anyway, so I have my template up here. I already went ahead and put the date on there and the day. So tomorrow's day five. So I gotta look at my schedule for day five. Now I do have a prep, but it is um, the last period. I have this little section here called notes of the day. So anything that I need to make sure I get done that day, like photocopy something or there's a meeting or yard duty i put it in my notes of the day Ooh, what's happening here i put it in my notes of the day section okay so let's get started notes of the day so tomorrow morning literacy coach is coming in at nine o'clock and she's only going to be there for 15 minutes um she's just showing me how she's doing there's a little activity that she wants to do with my kids and she wants to show me how she does it. So basically I can pick a special helper of the day or a star of the day and she's going to do something with their name. So some kind of a literacy activity or lesson with their name. So she's just showing me how she does it and I can do it every day with a different student. So she's just popping in for 15 minutes because she has another school to go to um, that morning. But typically she's here longer than that. So literacy coach at 9 a.m. so I have to remember that and yeah I'll just leave that for now at 9 o'clock the kids come in and they're just gonna get a book to read tomorrow no 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 they're not gonna do that I'm gonna have them uh, just sit on the carpet in front of the rocking chair so that's not typically what we do in the mornings but we're gonna do that because a literacy coach is coming so um, students enter and have a seat on the carpet for a literacy coach. I'll say since sit on the carpet for a literacy coach activity. Then. And then at 9.15, my computer is so slow. Do you use your computer sometimes like the mouse just disappears? Like you don't see the little cursor and then it's like, I gotta wait a minute. I gotta wait a minute. There it is. Okay, it's back. Okay. So soon sit on the carpet for literacy coach activities and at 9.15, I gotta think, the kids are gonna be on the carpet for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna sing our good morning song. Our good morning song, I can link it down below, but it's called, it's called It's a Beautiful Day. See the sun shining in the window, time to start a new day. Can't you hear the songbirds singing? I'm not gonna sing it all. But that's what we sing our good morning song. So sing our good morning song. It's a beautiful day. And the rule song. So basically this is a morning meeting. So morning meeting. So I like to open it up with news. What news do you have to share? So. Computer's slow again, the cursor's gone. Okay, it's back. Okay, uh, morning meeting. What news do you have to share? They don't have a couple kids share, not a lot. What are we gonna do after that? And then I'm gonna do a movement break here. Because the kids would have been on the carpet for a while at this point. 
and that's a huge part of my program like if you don't do movement and music I highly suggest that you do that I highly encourage that you do that because the kids love it generally speaking the kids love it and it's a great way for them to get their wiggles out and just to break up the lessons so I found this one they've never done this before but I figure I'll do something new just to oh spice things up so this one is it's called brain break action songs for kids body boogie dance and I will link it down below I don't want to play it because I don't want any copyright strikes uh, so yeah uh, we're gonna do that one so music and movement body ugh. body boogie dance great I'm just gonna go straight into readers workshop at this point so readers workshop like there's a certain uh, routine to our day which makes your life so much easier when it comes to planning this is a resource I use for readers workshop where is it thoughtful readers a year-long collection of lessons for a readers workshop this used to be free back in the day I remember this was on a website and I thought oh what a great resource it's for free and then one day it wasn't on there anymore and then it said come to my TPT shop and I was just like I don't want to buy it I don't want to buy it because it was free all this time but then I thought you know what someone made this they put all their time into it it's a great resource because you use it all the time just pay for it so I did pay for it $20 and I use it every year it's, it's, it's the best $20 I spent uh, yeah so I, I don't mind paying for We're it. We're gonna do lesson one to five. All readers are different. So you basically, I basically just follow the lessons more or less. I mean, some lessons I have to tweak a little, like this one needs some tweaking because they're supposed to bring in their favorite book, but I didn't have them do all that. So it's all readers are different. They have different schema, different skills. And we're gonna read Leo the Late Bloomer, which my school has a copy of this and no one takes it out. So I think because the cover of it, it's not colored. It just doesn't look appealing to kids, I guess. I don't know, but it's always in the library. So I know I have that. So we're going to read Leo the Late Bloomer and then um, stress the importance of never teasing someone about his or her reading. We all grow as readers with practice and some children have more practice than others. So that's really, really important for the students to know that all readers are different and we don't make fun of each other. So readers workshop lesson one, five, all readers are different. Um, all readers are different. Okay. So once we do that, I'm going to have them do some reading. What I want to do tomorrow is I want them to read from their just right book bags. We have not done this before, but I'm done all their assessments and their reading and I know the levels that they're at. So they're going to get five leveled readers that are their level and then one fun book. And I'm just going to pick their books for this for tomorrow. Normally they pick their own books, but for tomorrow I'm going to pick their book and I'm going to explain to them that I picked books based on their reading level and that some of us are going to be at level A, some of us are going to be at level G. I just tell them that we're all at different levels. These are our just right books. So I need to make a note of the day that I need to prepare just right book bags. So I have to come in early to do that. But that's fine. So we'll do that. And then after Reader's Workshop, I want the kids to share so we're gonna have a sharing circle and we've done this before were your books too easy too hard just right and why do you think so yeah we'll just do that and then it's gonna be recess I wish I had my yard duty schedule, but I do not, but I do not have yard duty any morning. So yeah. And then after recess, we're going to do writer's workshop. My students love writer's workshop. I don't know what it is. Every year writer's workshop is a hit. Like kids just seem to really enjoy the program. So the program that I, I use like a variety of different programs to be honest, but the one that I'm using right now 
is this one. If I can find it. Ooh, here it is. So it is uh, writing through the year, unit one. And basically I want my kids to be independent writers. So at this point right now, I just need them to write independently. So, so they have, oh goodness me. So my writing, so we have these for their writing folders and paper choice. So they have the, the papers. Awesome. They have rubrics. That's, that's pretty good. Writing goals. So anyway, we've been talking about that writing is just telling on paper. So they think, draw, and then write. During this time, I take away the crayons because I don't want them to spend their time coloring. Although in this lesson, she does talk about the fact that you can color and use the right colors. But I, I in my experience, I don't really... I don't want to them to color. So basically they're going to do that again. But I want us to work on uh, our stamina because uh, the students, a couple of them don't really understand the fact that we're writing right now and we can't say I'm done and can I get a book to read now? So most of the students understand that, but uh, a few of them don't. So I want to work on our stamina. I did introduce them to the concept of what stamina is, but we didn't do a graph. And so um, this here lesson has our writing, ooh, Instagram, has our writing stamina, a graph. So I wanna do that and I wanna give us a goal of 15 minutes. We were able to write for 15 minutes last Friday. So hopefully we can do it again. So what lesson is this? Writers work on stamina. Writers work on stamina. And also what I like to do is I like to also model for the students how to write independently and to just write down the sounds that I hear. So, and, and I'm very, um, so what I'm looking for, I'm very, dramatic i guess or animated whenever i'm thinking i'll just be like hmm what could i write about today hmm i can write about my family i can write about my pet i can write about my friends i can write about school i think today i'm gonna write about my pet i have a pet turtle and at this point the writing is so basic and not very exciting but we'll build on that. Right now, put your thoughts on paper. That's what I care about right now. Do not ask me, how do you spell this? How do you spell that? Just write and just, just sit the entire time. It's important to teach them this because when you start conferring with kids, you don't want kids constantly getting up out of their desk to ask you something. Like just, to, just establish the routines that we're sitting and we're working on writing the whole time. If you think you're done, grab another sheet of paper, or you can add to your words on your current piece, add to the pictures, but we're not saying I'm done. I just need to establish that routine now <laughs> or else it just becomes chaos. And I, I, I turn off a light and I play some soft, relaxing music, like some piano music. And it's just a very calm time and the kids are just sitting and working. Do not come up to me, nothing, but you have to, you have to give them the tools to be independent, right? That's what I'm working on right now. Uh, writers work on stamina and then uh, modeled writing. Oops. I have a pet turtle. Okay. Afterwards, I like the students to share. So I'm going to put writing continued in the next writing continued in the next period. Well, we'll see, depending on how they do. And I mean, if one child kind of says I'm done, that's that you encourage them to keep going. But if several kids seem like they're done, then you stop it, right? Or then I will stop it because I don't want it to get out of hand. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a, sh I call it author's chair, where I have a few kids share their writing, whether they're done or not, they can share. And I keep track of which students have shared and so that the same kids are not sharing every time. So I do keep a note of that. So we'll have authors chair. Students share writing and 
and talk about noticing things they notice and questions they have. Okay, then it is lunchtime. Yummy. After lunch, the kids are going to be doing math. Now we're starting a new unit. So we just finished up patterning. And the kids, they're ready to move on anyway. So for October, it is number sense enumeration. What I'm going to start doing is compose and decompose numbers to 20 in a variety of ways using concrete materials. Example, seven can be de decomposed using connecting cubes into six and one or five and two or four and three. So that's what we're going to be focusing on in math. So I want to start off simple. I just want to know what they know. So we're going to be doing making four. So we're going to do that on the carpet making four so basically i'm gonna have four counters and i'll have two mats and i'm going to have the four counters on one mat and then nothing on the second mat and i'll say how many are here four how many are here zero and then i'll write on the chart paper four and zero is four i'll move one to the next card i'll say how many on this side three how many on this side one three and one make four like that so my question to them is how many different ways can you make four and we're gonna find that out as a class so I'm just gonna put making four yeah anyways we'll just do that and then their practice is I want them to make five I could have them hmm I could have them work with partners or they can do it individually but they can kind of still talk with each other so I'm just gonna have them do it individually so I want them to make five so making five and I know on the carpet we did four but I'm gonna explain that we're gonna be doing making five so here we made four I want to see if you can tell me the different ways that you can make five um, how many ways can you make five and they'll get the, they'll each get five counters and they'll get two little mats they're not really mats it's construction paper or, or a brisk what do you call that paper cardstock so i i just rip cardstock in half and that's their mat so they're gonna do that and they're gonna record it they're gonna record it there's so many ways to do this there's so many ways to do this. Anyway, I'm just going to have them record it. And then I just like to walk around and see who needed support, who doesn't need support. And I like to write little notes on their actual work to see if they were able to do it independently, if they needed some assistance, or like they just don't get it at all. So I do make notes on their work. Um, so yeah, we'll do that for math. So after the kids work on it, then we're going to, I'm going to bring the students back and we're going to share. Yeah, share their work and, and the different ways they came up with. Yeah, okay. After math, we have recess. And I have yard duty. Buy the portables. I love that duty. It's like low traffic. There's just not a lot of kids there. There's kids, but they're usually pretty calm. But the playscape? Mm-mm-mm. Uh -uh -uh. I don't like the playscape or having to be around the soccer area, the field. Portables. That's the way to be. Portables. Okay. <laughs> so, and after recess, I'm going to do some activity time. And I'm going to pull the kids who had trouble doing the math, because I know there's going to be a few. I'm going to pull those kids and just, I like to do like small groups or one-on-one. -on -one. I just sit with them. I just go over we're gonna go over the math today uh, I usually go over math but it could be anything really that I feel like kids need work with but tomorrow we're gonna do the math yeah that's it and then I have that last period prep they have music last period so I'm just gonna send them down to music at uh, last period so yeah that's it I'm done planning for today so let me show you 
So I have my notes for the day, which is literacy coach at nine, prepare the just right book bags and yard duty PM recess by the portables. But I just have um, what we're doing. So that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed this plan with me video. It was actually kind of fun for me to just think out loud and to share what I'm doing. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video.